Okay, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the media. Uh, what I'm about to do really is uh, very simple, uh, and I will keep it very brief. For those who may not know me, uh, my name is Charles Nyichai. Um, and uh, what I want to confirm is that our father, that is Honorable Simeon Nyechai, has about an hour and a half ago uh, rested here in Nairobi Hospital after a fairly long illness that he has uh, bravery, bravely borne and uh, so we want to, to confirm that. We want to uh, uh, thank uh, God for Mzee's life and what he has been able to do. And uh, the only other thing I will want to say at this point is really to record our appreciation. I'm sure we shall uh, do so in the days to come. But let me at this early stage record our appreciation as a family uh, to the Nairobi Hospital, to the uh, doctors, uh, Dr. Mathenge and his team, uh, who have looked after Mze for not just these several weeks he has been in the hospital, but uh, for the previous occasions that he has also uh, needed uh, medical uh, attention. We want to thank them, we want to thank the hospital uh, administration, uh, all the other doctors, all the nurses. We want to say as a family, we are deeply and forever uh, grateful uh, uh, to all of them. Uh, at this stage, really, I think that is uh, all I would want to say, uh, other than also to appreciate the fact that uh, uh, a few minutes ago uh, I, I spoke to His Excellency the President who conveyed his condolences to us as a family and we appreciate that and uh, we appreciate the concern from him and all our other uh, uh, friends uh, and uh, extended family who have uh, in the uh, last short while uh, who have uh, uh, expressed their condolences. I think I will leave it there myself and say thank you very much. Uh, and as you can see, uh, my brother, the uh, CS for uh, the interior, uh, is here with us. Uh, by and large, uh, Dr. Matiangi is also a member of this family, but still we want to appreciate him and his presence here. And uh, perhaps uh, uh, Waziri, you may wish to say a word or two. Thank you. Okay. Um, on my own behalf and on behalf of um, our family and uh, many, many people um, uh, who uh, were fathered, mentored, served, led, by Mr. Simeon Nyachai. This is a very sad day for all of us. But uh, we thank God for the wonderful life that he gave him, the opportunity he gave all of us uh, to work with him and for him to be our father and our leader and our mentor. Uh, as Charles has said, we will not say much. Um, this is a very sad day for all of us. I want to ask uh, all my fellow Kenyans and citizens that uh, we remain calm and we will focus and listen to what the family will tell us as they plan the next steps in this journey. But uh, conclude by asking sincerely that uh, we continue to pray for the family of Mze and all of us as we walk through this journey. It is true, as uh, uh, Ch Charles has said, um, His Excellency the President has been briefed uh, throughout for all the time that Mze has been in hospital. He has remained in contact with the family and uh, he remains 
uh, focused on supporting all of us as we go through this experience. So let us remain prayerful, calm, and uh, continue to support the family as uh, we go through this experience. I think a more detailed uh, announcement and a more detailed uh, uh, form of communication will be put out by the family led by Charles and then we will go on from there on how the rest of the planning will continue. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. Well, uh, Zainab, that is information that we are getting from the family, having been represented not just by the family through their son, Charles Nyeschai, but also from the government, that is through Minister Fred Matiangi, who have been able to tell us that they will be giving us more details as they do receive. Right now, it is just preliminary. Charles Nyeschai confirming that it might have just happened an hour and a half ago. We were here all along and most of the family members were here just to get that information and to know what next. There's a probability that just before everything or everybody was uh, given this information, the family had already known because by the time we were coming here, Zaina Ben Mule, is that we had already known and we had already found family members were here from early enough. So there was planning that is going on and actually Charles Nyachai has been very categorical that what they will be doing is they are giving gratitude not just to the people who have been here at the hospital but for everybody who's been working with them through this journey it has been a difficult journey not just this time that mze has been here and he has described that mze has succumbed to a long illness that he has been born that he has born for quite some time so for right now the family has requested that we give them some more time just to internalize what has happened to them because you all know that losing a parent at whatever age is not something that is easily digestible this is something that the family has to actually sit down think about it look at all the possibilities and the information that will be going out before they're able to disseminate anything but right now what we were able to see we were able to see one of the wives who already came with uh, some of the children who are already here as early as 11 o'clock today and right now they have gone again into another caucus as more and more dignitaries uh, come here to mourn with the family already they have gone into a tent that is just next to the Lee funeral home where but within the same same compound and they're caucusing on probably what the way forward is what i was able to see through my own eyes is that as charles nyachai said that he spoke to president uhuru kenyatta i saw uh, the interior cabinet secretary that is fred matiangi hand him the phone and that is where i want to assume or that is the probability where they were able to speak with president uhuru kenyatta who conveyed his sincere condolences to the family. Charles Nyechai, you will remember, was the chairperson of the Commission on Constitutional Implementation before his tenure ended, and probably then he went into uh, politics. And But that is probably a story for another day. But for, for Simeon Nyechai, who has served the country for quite a long time, going in even into the presidential election of 2002, he had already attained what people in politics will say is self uh, ac ac there is some English word probably Zainab you'll help me with, self-actualization, -ac yes, that is the word. And uh, for quite some time he was not in the political limelight, but he is considered a kingpin within the Nyanza region and more specifically the Kisi area. Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi has been very categorical that when it comes to CM Chai, he's been able to mentor so many people, so many leaders who've come from that area, and he is a revered politician and a shrewd one at that, having been having maneuvered and having started his career from a family where the father was our uh, was a chief and you know at that time chiefs had a long or their word was low so he also went into education and was able to go into politics and having come number three in the 2002 elections is no mean feat not considering the number of votes that he got even if they say that he came a distant third but he is somebody who's been able to also build his business empire from scratch 
Remember, he is one of those people that is also associated with some of the biggest companies that we have in the country that we can actually uh, say and probably in the next in the coming few days the government will be involved in some of the planning of his burial and prob there's a probability that the government will be giving us more information because this information has been relayed by the interior cabinet secretary fred matiangi there's a probability that even the president will be asking him to take charge from the government side noting that he is a former cabinet minister and he's also one of those key figures who come from the Kisi area that is representing both Kisi County and Nyamira County so he is a probability that President Uhuru Kenyatta will be putting him in charge of what the government will be doing with regards to helping the family at this difficult time but as of now the family is still caucusing there are more and more people who are coming in including their doctors including uh, including politicians and including family friends and they'll be making some statements probably later Well, there you have it. We do apologize for that slight technical hitch there. Kennedy Murethi at the Lee Funeral Home within Nairobi Hospital where the family of the late Simon Nyachai has just confirmed his passing about one and a half hours ago after suffering a long illness there. Uh, they did say uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta has at this point uh, uh, has passed on his condolences to uh, the family of the late Simeon Nyachai as more leaders continue to pour in at that point. Uh, the Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi was also there as a part of the family. He also gave his condolences speaking in an, or rather on the side of the family uh, asking the media to, and, and, and the country to await for more information as the family continues to absorb this devastating information. He was at the hospital for about 22 days and and that's almost a month. Naam, is question na moja ni zaidi ya wiki tatu tayari. Kwa hivyo mtazamaji amepata kudhibitishwa rasmi na mwana wa kwanza wa kiume wa mwenda zake Simeon Nyachaye ni Charles Nyachaye ametoa idibati hiyo kwamba babake amepotezwa uhai wake hii leo akiwa na umri wa miaka 89 na tangazo hilo tumenipata moja kwa moja kutoka katika hifadhi ya maiti ya Lee ikiwa ni karibu tu na hospitali ya Nairobi ambapo amekuwa amelazwa na tayari rais amewapa rambi rambi zake na viongozi mbalimbali na wananchi uh, nikiangalia vivumio vikuwa hapa wengi wanazungumzia hilo huyo Sylvester hapa anashangaa kwamba uh, nyacha ametuacha kuna mwingine hapa anasema RIP uh, our guard Nelson pia anasema RIP shujaa ana msema rambi rambi zao kisha kuna mwingine Fred Kadhanga anasema eh, mchango wako kwa nchi hii ulikuwa ni mkubwa aswa katika sekta ya maziwa uh, anasema kwamba ilikuwa ni mchango mkubwa kutoka kwake Harold Andrew anasema uh, RIP may God rest your soul in peace kisha kuna mwingine hapa Jafet Kipkemei pia anasema hivyo hivyo RIP Brenda vile vile uh, kuna baadhi ya viongozi ambao pia wamezungumza Minado Musomi anasema amepata taarifa hizo uh, kwa huzuni kisha Zekil Mtu anasema um, Mzee Simon Nyachae was an enigma an outstanding long serving top civil servant an astute leader and businessman who spoke his mind he leaves a rich legacy of an impeccable service to the nation fair be well Mzee Nyachae uh, your legacy lives on Ezekiel Mtu ni miongoni mwa ambao uh, wanatoa rambi rambi zao hapo wakimkumbuka kama kiongozi ambaye alitoa mchango mkubwa sana hapa nchini haswa katika masuala ya huduma kwa taifa na tumeona kwamba alihudumu mm. sana kwa miaka mingi mm. uh, katika nafasi na nyadhifa tofauti mm -hmm. katika uh, utawala wa mikoa na pia huduma uh, tofauti za umma kabla kuingilia masuala ya siasa and indeed actually served for about 15 years as the Nyaribari constituency uh, member of parliament and uh, maybe just to also get a glimpse of exactly how his career has been uh, since the beginning let's just see that on our screen where you know after returning to Kenya we actually just let's begin from the <laughs> from the very start where he was born in 1932 uh, that was on the 6th of February in Nyaribari in Kisi County uh, to the then powerful colonial chief Musa Nyandusi and went on to live a long illustrious life uh, in civil service and here you can have it uh, we're having it now a timeline of his political career after returning to Kenya in 1964 from London where he was studying the Chai joined the provincial administration and steadily rose through the ranks to become a provincial commissioner between 1965 to 1979 and later chief secretary in the civil civil service under the Kenyatta government he then ran for and won a parliamentary seat in 1992 Easily due to his influence and wealth, his election to parliament in 1992 in Nyaribari Chachi constituency was instrumental in his entry into the Moi government as a very powerful cabinet minister 
first for agriculture and then later for finance. That was from 1998. Then in 1999, he resigned from government after falling out with President Moy, having been moved to the less influential Ministry of Industry. He also left the Kenya African National Union, that was Kanu, to join the opposition Ford people. By then, only a small party. The Chais had had a go to try his luck to become president during the 2002 elections. Plans to run for presidency, however, did not find wide support as the main opposition groups cooperated with Moi Kibaki's Democratic Party to form the National Alliance of Kenya, which then teamed up with Raila Odinga's LDP to form the Rainbow Coalition. He did not succeed in his presidential bid, but was able to enter parliament with a 14-member strong Ford People faction after collecting all constituencies in Kisi. When President Mwai Kibaki was facing strong opposition from his cabinet in 2004, he recalled Nyachai to government as Minister for Energy and later Minister for Roads. Then Nyachai lost the 2007 parliamentary elections as an opposition wave swept his Kisi political base. The 89-year-old leaves behind a family of four wives and over 20 children, according to the information that we have. Na mnakika kama ulivyoelezea historia yake pale inaonekana kwamba alikuwa ni kiongozi shupavu sana. Mwaka wa 99 kwenda kinyume na rais Daniel Moi haikuwa rais. Kwamba yeye akaamua kwamba mimi sitazidi kusalia katika kanu tutajiunga na Ford People. Chama ambacho hakikuwa hata na umaarufu wote. Maana yake alikuwa uh, kwenye serikali kama waziri wa fedha. Akaamua kwamba mimi nimejiuzulu wadhifa wangu najiunga na Ford People. Ni kwamba alikuwa ni mtu ambaye alikuwa na msimamo, na alikuwa ni mtu jasiri na pengine hilo ndilo lililomzolea umaarufu kule katika eneo la Kisia kwa kwamba ni kama ile unasema Kingpin katika eneo hilo. Kwamba kwa kwamba yeye ndiye kiongozi ambaye anasikika na tajika sana katika eneo hilo na anaheshimika zaidi. Na tukiona kwamba uh, licha ya kuwa alichukua toa hiyo hakufaulu lakini alingia bungeni na wabunge 14 naam kuonyesha kwamba pia alikuwa na uungwaji mkono mkubwa sana ni miongoni mwa viongozi ambao mm. alikipa chama cha Ford people eh, umaarufu mkubwa mm. eh, katika wakati huo indeed we can also remember that uh, last month there were rumors a couple of rumors that uh, uh, were spread online of his demise but these were claims that the family uh, laid to rest saying that um, Ze was still alive and Ze was still uh, receiving treatment but even away from that in 2018 he suffered uh, uh, he, he fell down and suffered an injury to then which he was taken to South Africa for treatment and he came back to Kenya. But even after that, his health was not really uh, improving, I believe, at that point. So his health has been deteriorating. And that's why we had not seen him in, you know, the, the public scene for, for, a number of, uh, for a number of months at that point. So uh, we'll now just be taking out mo more information on what we're getting on our social media platforms. Uh, and maybe, Mule, maybe we can also just see what people are saying on, on Twitter. Na mtakoni tukiangalia baadhi lakini hata kabla hapo tukiangalia mm -hmm. kauli zako mbili tatu katika mtandao kuna baadhi ya kauli walizozitoa Simeon Nyachae mm -hmm. kiwa kiongozi kuna wakati wa uh, zile kampeni za kupigia kura katiba zile za ndizi na chungwa alikuwa anazungumza sana akiwa upande wa ndizi wakati ule hebu tupate kusikia baadhi ya kauli zake kama mwanasiasa na kama akiwa ameshikilia nyadhifa mbalimbali za uongozi na kisha baadaye nitakuwa nikiangazia baadhi ya wanayosema katika mitandao ya kijamii Siwezi kuambia mimi nataka kusimama because I don't, in the party, I don't belong to myself. I belong to the members. Now, candidate in your president, me, delegates, Congress, why don't you have a nomination? It is not me to nominate myself. Me, I don't know what we're going to do. I think I'm going to do Again, I'm going to say that I'm candidate to be president. I'm going to say that I'm not going to say that. That is not party management. Here, individual management. And I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to say that 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 I'm going Si, wacha ni malisike lakini kusema urongo si taweza. Nyi, nyi, I don't know whether you analyze what goes on in, on TV. These people are also sometimes very good. Because when they bring in some of the things uh, tunaona ndani ya, ya television. Hey, flani ya meshika mpira, napereka mpira, napereka mpira. Ah, meshiko. Now, can you really <laughs> imagine Kwamba a constitution is a document ya kuchiesea? 
mpira I sometimes look at some of these things in Nasemba. What are we talking about? <laughs> I mean, you, you sometimes feel very embarrassed and sorry for this country. When we make jokes about the football being played, Kwamamboya Katiba. Who is that going to score? Is it one inch going to score or an individual? Me, I'm not mentioning names. Lakini, I must say, we must ask ourselves, hii mchezo si kitu ya kuchesea, eh, kiatiba si kitu ya kuchesea. Watu wengine, wanaendelea kusema, nyachaya aliandika hii kiatiba na komiti yake, nyachaya ni muzee, eh, hati muzee kama huya andeandika kiatiba. Huyo mtu wana ujuzi kuliko mimi, yule anasema hii. Hiyo ni jambo moja. Na tena kitu moja watu wananiita muzee. Na yule anasema mimi ni muzee. Wakati anasema mimi ni muzee na mimi iko miaka 73. Wakati baba yake alikuwa anauliza kuwa president in 1992. Baba yake alikuwa miaka 81. Mbona akusema baba yako umekuwa mzee? I mean, at, at that particular age, and you can tell that he was quite a witty politician and very strong for, for that matter, having gone out there, you know, speaking in, in, with, uh, where we have large crowds and, and, you know, just speaking his mind out. And this is something that was quite interesting about Simeon Nyachai. So very strong leader, even at his old age. And that's why even as he passes at the age of 89, you can, you, you know, and by 20, you know, 16, 2017, he was still in the political scene. So you can tell he was a very strong man uh, till the very end. Ya mnajua ukimsikiza kauli zake pale na ucheshi unakumbuka yale umekuwa na magari ambayo pale nyume maandiko ya mzee ni wewe. <laughs> Anazungumza hivyo manake anasema kwamba alikuwa anahisi kwamba yeye uzee haupo. Iwapo ana nguvu za kuchapa kazi basi ndio hivyo ataendelea kuchapa kazi na ni kiongozi ambaye pengine nadhani hata uh, baada ya kuondoka katika uh, siasa mm -hmm. alikuwa na ushawishi mkubwa sana katika eneo lake. Hata viongozi wakitaka kupata kura kule walikuwa namtafuta ili wapate kupata fursa ya kuzungumza naye. Tumsikia pale katika siasa za ndizi na chungwa pia kikejeli kina Raila Odinga na zake ambao alikuwa katika upande wa chungwa. Kwa hivyo anasema kwamba yeye alikuwa ameamua jambo moja kwamba hata sema uongo mm. atakuwa anasimama na ukweli. Na ni miongoni mwa mambo ambayo uh, yamejitokeza sana katika uh, siasa zake na uongozi wake na inaelekea kwamba pia ushupavu wa mwanawe Charles kama alivyopata kuzungumza pale mm. Charles na Chai ni kwamba alijifunza mengi kuhusiana na uongozi uh, kutoka kwa babake. Indeed. Na. So we do have some of the moments uh, from uh, his life as a politician, as a businessman, as a family man. Let's just take a look at some of those pictures. Na mtazamaji ndivyo hivyo anasema picha ni hifadhi ya kumbukumbu na historia basi ndio hayo maisha yake Simon Nyachaye kwa picha kutoka mwaka wa 32 alipozaliwa hadi mwaka huu siku hii ya leo zikiwa ni dakika chache ama saa chache tu ambazo zimepita baada ya familia yake kudhibitisha kuwa amepoteza maisha na amewahi kuvalia magwanda tofauti katika siasa kama mbunge kwa miula kadhaa vile vile katika baraza la mawaziri akiwa ameshikilia wizara mbali mbali katika utawala wake Rais Mustafa Daniel Moi na vile vile utawala wake uh, Rais aliyemfuatilia Mwai Kibaki mm. na vile vile alikuwa kiongozi wa jamii ya Kisi ambaye alikuwa anapigiwa upato sana katika maswala ya kutoa ushauri wa kisiasa na uongozi katika eneo hilo na hadi kupoteza kwake maisha alikuwa na miaka 89 na ndipo sasa tumeweza kuletea taarifa hiyo na tutazidi kufuatilia familia yake imesema kwamba atakuwa kitoa taarifa zaidi kuhusiana na maandalizi ya mazishi kiongozi mbali mbali kwepo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta tayari wametoa rambi rambi za Indeed, and our reporter uh, Kennedy Murethi is at the Leaf and Roll home. We'll be getting more details from Murethi during the course of this afternoon and later on in the evening as well. We'll be also taking a short break, but don't go away. When we come back, we'll be airing a special documentary on the life and times of Simeon Nyachai. Stay with us. You too so yogurt cup. Size yako, bay yako.
You too, so yogurt cup. Size yako, bay yako. I mean, Watamu along Kenya's coastline, which is commonly associated with tourists and white sandy beaches. But the locals have found